Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn some elementary asymptotic formulae. At first, we see what is Riemann zeta function. Riemann zeta function is defined as zeta of s. If this s is greater than 1, then zeta of s is equal to sum over n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n power s. If this s is lies between 0 to 1, then zeta of s is equal to limit x tends to infinity sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s minus x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s. Next, the theorem. In this theorem, we have four subdivision. The first subdivision is if x greater than or equal to 1, we have sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n equal to log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x. We prove this theorem by using Euler summation formula. The Euler summation formula is sum over y less than n less than or equal to x f of n is equal to integral y to x f of t dt plus integral y to x t minus box t f dash of t dt plus f of x into box x minus x minus f of y into box y minus y. To prove the first part, I am taking f of t is equal to 1 by t. Since the given function is 1 by n, I am taking f of t is equal to 1 by t. Since we want first derivative, I am find the first derivative also. f dash of t is equal to minus 1 by t square differentiation formula for d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1. Here our function is 1 by t that is t power minus 1. That is d by dt of t power minus 1 is equal to minus 1 into t power n minus 1 that is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 equal to minus 1 by t square. Next substitute these values in the above equation mark this equation as 1. Mm, equation 1 implies sum over given that that limit is x greater than or equal to 1. That is our y is equal to 1. So I am taking sum over 1 less than n less than or equal to x f of n. Here we take f of t is equal to 1 by t. That is f of n is equal to 1 by n equal to integral 1 to x f of t 1 by t dt plus integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by this term minus 1 by t square that is t square here minus 1 by t square into dt plus f of x means 1 by x that is box next f of y that is 1 by y here we have y is equal to 1 so 1 by 1 that is 1 so I am writing 1. Next, uh, integrating this term, we get log t, integral of 1 by x, that is log x, log t, limit 1 to x, plus, sorry, minus, integral 1 to x, t minus box t divided by t square dt. I am writing this term as a big O function that is big O of 1 by x minus 1. Next applying the limit we get log x minus log 1 that is 0 minus 1 plus big O of 1 by x minus integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by t square into dt. We know that that is integral 1 to infinity some function f of x dx we can we will write this as integral 1 to x f of x dx into dx plus integral x to infinity f of x dx see this is an interval 1 to infinity i split this curve into two parts i am taking uh, x so, I can write this as 
integral 1 to x plus integral x to infinity right but here we have integral 1 to x that is we have this term so i write this term as integral 1 to infinity minus integral x to infinity okay sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n is equal to log x plus big O of 1 by x minus 1 minus integral 1 to infinity t minus box t divided by t square dt plus integral x to infinity t minus box t divided by t square into dt. Clearly, these two are improper integral. This improper integral is dominated by the term 1 by t square. That is, we can write this as 0 less than or equal to integral x to infinity t minus box t divided by t square into dt less than or equal to integral x to infinity 1 by t square dt. Now we can find the value of this improper integral that is since integral x to infinity 1 by t square dt equal to I am taking limit that is limit b tends to infinity integral x to b 1 by t square dt. We cannot apply the limit as infinity right. So, I am taking one finite term uh, b. So, limit b tends to infinity integral x to b 1 by t square dt. That is limit b tends to infinity integral x to b t power minus 2 dt. Now, we can easily integrate this limit b tends to infinity integral uh, x power n dt means uh, x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is we get t power minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 divided by minus 1 the limit is x to b applying the limit we get limit b tends to infinity minus 1 by b minus of minus plus 1 by x now, next applying this limit we get limit that is y minus 1 by infinity plus 1 by x clearly 1 by infinity is tends to 0 that's why we get 1 by x so we can write this term is equal to 1 by x substituting this value in the above equation we get sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n log x plus big O of 1 by x plus 1 minus integral 1 to infinity t minus box t divided by t square dt plus 1 by x. By solving this improper integral we get a constant term that which implies we get log x plus big O of 1 by x plus c where c is equal to 1 minus integral 1 to infinity t minus box t divided by t square into dt. These two are constant terms. This 1 by x comes into the big O function. I have already taught you about improper integrals and big O functions. I will attach those links in the description. If you want, please check it. Finally, we get the answer. Hence, proof. the first part is over. Next, the second part is sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s is equal to x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus zeta of s plus big O of x power minus s if s greater than 0. For this, I am taking f of t is equal to, here the function is 1 by n power s, right? So, 1 by t power s, that is 
t power minus s. We will solve this part also by using Euler summation formula. That's why we need f dash of t, the first derivative, that is f dash of t is equal to minus s into t power minus s minus 1. I am taking the minus outside, minus s into t power minus of s plus 1, that is minus s divided by t power s plus 1. Next, substitute these values in the equation 1 implies sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s is equal to integral y to x that is here y is 1 1 to x f of t that is uh, t power minus s 1 by t power s dt plus integral 1 to x t minus box t into f dash of t dt right so t minus box t divided by this term minus s into t power s plus 1 minus s into t power s plus 1 into dt plus box x minus x divided by f of x here f of x is 1 by t power s that is 1 by t power s plus 1 so integrating this we get t power minus s that is t power minus s plus 1 divided by minus s plus 1 the limit is integral the limit is 1 to x plus sorry minus s into integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by t power s plus 1 dt plus i can write this as this is x i can write this as uh, big O of x power minus s. That is big O of x power minus s plus 1. Next, substitute these values. We get that is x power minus s plus 1 divided by minus s plus 1 minus 1. 1 power any term we get value 1. That is 1 by minus s plus 1 plus 1 plus big O of x power minus s minus s into integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by t power s plus 1 into dt. That is x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus big O of x power minus s plus 1 minus 1 by 1 plus s minus s into integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by t power s plus 1 into dt. These terms are constant. So, I am taking let c of s is equal to 1 minus 1 by 1 plus s minus s into integral 1 to x t minus box t divided by t power s plus 1 into dt ok um, substitute this value in the above equation we get sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s is equal to x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus big O of x power minus s plus c of s mark this as equation 2 we know that the Riemann zeta function, if s greater than 1, then limit extends to infinity sum over n less than x 1 by n power s minus x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s. By this, we get c of s with equal to zeta of s as s greater than 1, which implies equation to substitute this in equation 2 implies sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s is equal to x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus g of s plus big O of x power minus s. Hence the proof.